and welcome to our new video where we discuss about the standard normal distribution. In my previous video, video you already learned about the normal distribution means what is normal distribution and how we can find solve the given data with the help of that normal distribution. Basically normal distribution is a bell, bell shape distribution you know. There we also discuss 68.95.99.7 rule also for normal distribution and one more thing it's symmetrical about its mean line. Now if we talk about the standard normal distribution, so for standard normal distribution if we put mean mu equal to 0 and standard deviation equal to 1 then we, our normal distribution converted into standard normal deviation. So, our what is normal deviation formula? We substitute this, then our standard normal deviation probability function is given by 1 upon root 2 pi e to the power minus x square by 2. When we put mean equal to 0 and sigma equal to 1. It means now our function is shifted at center mu equal to 0 at the coordinate mu equal to 0. So this is a standard normal deviation half portion beyond 0 and half positive octant half negative octant. So this is mu plus sigma mu minus sigma mu plus 2 sigma mu minus 2 sigma mu plus 3 sigma mu. Standard deviation also uh, standard normal distribution is also finish up to 3 deviation plus either positive side or negative side. Both sides are symmetrical. So in your statistics we have uh, this standard normal distribution table so with the help of that table we can find out the proper value for that deviation how we can use that table I will show you if Z is a standard normal deviation at normal deviation 0 comma 1 means mean is 0 variance is 1 means standard deviation is also 1 so we have to find out the probability function at Z is greater than 1.23 so what is the value of this function Z at greater than 1.23 so this is our table where we see the table is positive side of if this is me so up to this is mu equal to zero line so value of z given by this side if we want that side so our value we have to find out same side here and if we negative sign used there then we will find that area. So for this if you have a table then you have this type of table here 0 0.0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 and so on then 1.0, 1.1, 1.2. 1.3 and so on. Similarly here 0 0.00, 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03 and so on. So this. If we want value of Z at 0, so 0, 0.00 is value is here. If we want value of Z is equal to uh, 0.1 1.11 z is greater than 0.1 so we see here 0.11 1. 1. so this this value gives value of 0.11 similarly we want z value at 1.23 so where is 1 this is 1.2 and second is 3 so 1.3 is value here 
its value is 8.97 so probability at z probability density function 1.23 is given by 0 0.8907 this we can find out with the help of table whatever given similarly if we have function or we want the value of z is greater than 1.23 so for z total probability of this given function is 1 so for greater than is 1 minus of 1 point 1 minus z equal to 1 minus of probability at z equal to greater than 1.23 so that this this probability we already find out 0 0.80 so this probability answer is equal to 1 minus 0.8907 gives our answer 0 0.1086 so whatever the notation we can find out the probability according their side similarly some more examples so you better understand how we studied the table if we have probability for standard normal deviation function z is greater than equal to minus 0 0.206 3 decimal place accuracy minus sign is there so what is this this is equal to p of z greater than equal to 0 0.206 if we remove minus sign this convert greater than this less than convert greater than clear now what is this this probability is 1 minus probability density function of z 0 0.206 this is our solution so with the table we have to find out this probability substitute here subtract from 1 we will get the answer of this clear some more example how we find out the standard normal distribution if we have now if we say standardize subsidize the normal deviation allow that if a normal deviation mu sigma square where x belongs to normal deviation mu is 205 and sigma is 20 square then our z standard normal deviation function z equal to x minus mu by sigma clear so what is here our z z equal to this function our if we want that x this is our z now we have to find out the probability at point x is equal to 230 at point x is equal to 230 means we have to find out the probability x greater than equal to 230 so this is how we have to find out with standard normal deviation we substitute value of x mu and sigma here find out the value of z then again new our probability density function for z we have the table so when we substitute z is equal to 230 minus mu is 205 divided by sigma is 20 hence z is equal to 1.25 so our new function becomes in z form p z is greater than equal to 1.25 now if z is greater than equal to 1.25 same we can see from the table there is 0 0.0 0 0.1 then 1.0 1.1 1 1.2 1.2 column there is 0 0.0 0 0.1 0 0.05 so this this place value have 0.8944 so value of 1.25 is equal to 0.8924 so this is 0.8924 so 
So our probability density function at this point where mean is 205, sigma is 20 is given by this. This gives approximate value up to 3 decimal, 4 decimal place. So you can see in the many cases either positive direction or negative direction you definitely find out total probability is 1 if z is less than this you can find out directly if z is greater than this then you subtract this value from minus 1 if this is negative sign then negative sign first you remove convert this notation greater than convert into less than less than convert into greater than and then whatever the sign with that you can find out so what is the rule rule is if p is z greater than equal to or greater than of some value x that is direct given by table you have to find second if z is great this is less than z is greater than equal to x that value is always 1 minus P of Z X. 1, 2, third one is if P Z is greater than equal to minus of X, then you can remove this minus sign. So P Z is greater than equal to X and this equal to gives by this. Clear? If P is z greater than equal to x minus of x this gives p z is less than equal to x direct gives by first rule so this gives by second rule this gives by first rule so these are the conversation of the notation how we change and find out the values with the help of with the help of tables well so, with the help of these standard, standard normal distribution, we can find the accurate value. With 60 and 95 and 97 rule, we can find out the little bit approximate value. Thank you very much.